Okay, so this, the next part comes technically under the section of the brain, but since we're looking at um, visual stimulation and how that visual stimulation is converted into um, impulses in the optic nerve, while we're here, we'll just kind of take that all the way to the end and look at how that information is going to be processed. But this is one of the other things that comes up quite a bit in terms of the brain and learning. So I've skipped the section on the brain structure and functions because that's a kind of, um, it's a bit on its own that you can just go through, uh, understand the different parts of, the, uh, know the different parts of the brain and what they do, you can revise that. This takes a little bit more understanding and so I'm gonna go through this. So we've discussed how in any response you have, you have the stimulus, you have a sensor that must detect the stimulus, then you've got the sensory neurons that are going to have the impulses that have been uh, created because of the sensor. Impulses pass along the sensory neuron, perhaps to the relay neuron, or the brain for processing or just uh, the central nervous system relay neuron for a, a reflex response. And then as a, res as a result of that, um, there's going, going to be then stimulation of effector neurons, and which will eventually stimulate an effector to make a response. So this is the whole thing, and it might be repetitive, but I just want you to appreciate how every you know, many things in topic 8 fit into that story and if you understand how everything fits into that basic process it might make a, sense, um, a lot of sense of topic 8 for you. So um, just recently what we did is we looked at right, if when the light enters the eye it stimulates cells at the back of the eye, the rod cells and as a result of the rod cells uh, causing action potential in the bipolar cells and then uh, causing an action potential in the sensory neurons. As a result of all that, because of the entry of light here, we're going to have action potentials or impulses moving down the sensory neurons towards the central nervous system where processing is going to happen. It's not that straightforward though because with visual stimulation, like from here, this is the thalamus, and remember, as part of your revision, you should have covered the different parts of the brain and what they do. The thalamus receives sensory information from, or a lot of sensory information, and then it's responsible to then send that information to where it needs to go. So the visual processing center is here, and so when the thalamus receives uh, impulses from the optic nerve, it knows that this is optical information, this is image based information and so the information must be routed to the visual processing center where, where that information is going to be uh, interpreted as an image. So that happens here, right? And you know, there might be, uh, I don't know, olfactory information, smell information that then goes to the appropriate uh, center that processes smells, there might be pressure information that goes to the center that processes uh, pressure information, like touching and feeling things, uh, and so that's the thalamus's job to do that. So we've got neurons here, or nerves here, showing how the information from, or visual information, is passed on or appropriately routed to the appropriate processing center, in this case, the uh, visual processing center if in the brain. Okay, <clears throat> so visual cortex. So that's the visual cortex, that's the thalamus, that's your sensor, that's the eye. In this case, it's the eye. That is in effect the sensory neuron, and, or sensory neurons, and in this case, it's the neurons of the optic, optic nerve, that's right there. Thalamus processing center, and as you can see, you know, we've got a number of synapses there to allow 
the information so because what you have to think is while the impulse is moving down the neuron is kind of locked on that path it's like a train on the tracks but a synapse allows then that uh, information to be rerouted to the right place okay so that's important to appreciate there okay so I hope we understand this stimulus sensor the eye sensory neuron optic nerve and then it goes to the brain the visual cortex of the brain in order for processing now the next section is going to involve looking at how this system develops so when we when we are looking at the brain and learning it's and um, <clears throat> there's a lot of stuff about the critical the critical period so it's more to do with the development of the brain how did this how did these connections develop um, at the early stage of the organism the idea being that this kind of connection isn't preformed in um, in the developing organism it does require stimulation it does require a little bit of a, an environmental input in order for this system to be wired up the way that it is that's the key point about the critical period and visual development okay so let's change that, that visual development and I won't go through all the different experiments again you can go through that yourself just wanted to um, make sure that you understood what this part was really all about because it's a little bit um, tricky to get your head around so once we've looked at how the eye works the next thing we're going to focus on is visual development how did this system that allows us to